So I often get a lot of questions about why I use a date table and how I build a date table. This is going to be one of my shortest videos and I'm just going to get right to the point and show you how to build a date table. What are the benefits of using a date table in Power BI and why it might help you with your use cases. First things first is creating a date table using very simple DAX functions allows you to have a very clean data set with no repeated days, no multiple instances of something that creates an issue when you create a relationship to one of your fact tables that has time series data, such as like uh, stock price over time, which is something we often look at. It also will allow you to use more simple format functions that give you all of the key attributes of a date, such as the month number, the month name, long version. You can also do the short version, day, day of the week, all of these things are enabled by a very simple call to a DAX function. I'll show you how to do it. Second benefit here is when you are dealing with multiple tables of data or multiple queries of data that all have a date column in them. If you do not have a relationship to a common date table, you cannot plot or visualize all of this data on the same graphic. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Here I have three tables, all are time series data. One is pulling the Nvidia stock prices over time. One is pulling Bitcoin prices quoted in US dollars. The other is pulling natural gas Henry Hub futures. Notice how there is no relationship on my relationships pane to my common date table. This is what happens. Let's say I want to plot both Bitcoin price and Nvidia stock price on the same chart. If I bring in the date column from the Bitcoin table, and I make a line graph here, and then I bring in that Bitcoin price, that looks fine. But the second I wanna start bringing in data from another table, such as that Nvidia stock price, of course, it's coming from a different table. It has no connection or relationship to the date column that's in that Bitcoin table. So what do we need to do? We need a common date table, and we don't wanna take up a bunch of memory when we do it, so this is how we're gonna make it. The simplest way to start is go to the modeling tab, click new table, and this will be a DAX table created in memory. We're not querying any external data source here. I'm just going to call it date. And the most simple one we could possibly do is using the calendar function and giving it a start date. I'm just going to start with today and an end date. Let's do 2050, January 1st, close it up and I'll show you exactly what it creates. It gives me one record or row for every day in date time format, all the way out to that end date that we gave it. Now I'll give you something a little more useful using the exact same approach of modeling new table. I've created a date table here and I'll walk you through exactly what each of these lines is doing. So, one of the common ta virtual table creation functions is add columns. Here's that familiar calendar function where we're giving it a start date and an end date going through today, or uh, sorry, December 31st of 2024. Then I'm defining a bunch of other columns that I think are gonna be useful in whatever report I'm creating in Power BI. So year, simply using year of date, just like you would in a Excel formula, it's the same language there, same with month. Month name long, we're using the format function here and the four capital M's in a row brings the long name. If you did uh, three capital M's, it's the month name short. Day of the week, the weekday function will return that one through seven for the seven days in a week. The formatting of date for day name long, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, kind of long text is those four D's there. Quarter, just like in Excel, you can use the quarter function year and quarter, which is often used in financial reporting. This is doing just a little con concatenation here uh, using quarter and year. Uh, week number, as in the number of the chronological number of weeks in a year, year month and year month long. So similar concepts here, just using the format function. Once you have a date table like that, it's a little more advanced than the one we, the quick one we made just using the calendar function. And all of these columns are available for you to use in your report. 
The next thing we want to do, a uh, massive benefit of using a common date table, is like I said, relating all of these tables together so that you can plot or visualize data using the same date column and not have to worry about it. So let's hop over into our visualization pane. And if we go back to our original one here, of course, it's going to look a little odd because uh, NVIDIA price is much, much lower than Bitcoin quoted in US dollars. But you can see over time, every one of those NVIDIA prices has a proper number associated with it as we go through time because it is using the date column after creating that relationship through a common table. So once you create that relationship through a common table, you can actually use any date column you want. We could use the one from the NVIDIA table and it would work. And you can of course use the one from our date table and that would be best practice. They all work, but because we have that date table in the middle, that relationship is established and everything works. So just like that with some quick decks, you can create your own date table.